Bishopton, Scotland, sitting a wee bit south of the River Clyde and a wee bit west of bustling Glasgow, it nonchalantly posts up brick by brick in the Scottish countryside. It was here, in this quiet village, where it all began for Hazel Ross. I have loved it here. I just think it's such a community feel and I could like play out in the street and have lots of like nearby friends who all different ages we just played like street games and yeah it was cool. But amongst the fun and games of those elementary school years Ross's speed started to catch notice and at her school sports day the local track club saw a star in the making. However early on Ross didn't quite agree. I went to club night at Kilbarkin and hated it, like wasn't interested in running, went back to basketball and then tried again. Instead of just running flat, I tried some hurdles, some long jump, some high jump, pretty enjoyed it and then competed and seemed pretty good at it and stuck at it. And with her love for track and field ever growing, her potential as a youngster was already vast. Even her older sister, who is sometimes more foe than friend growing up, saw something special. I think probably a few months into her doing hurdles and then I think she actually did her first competition and she did really well and I thought she's going to be good at this and then she just stuck at it and obviously ended up where she is. Like, but it was definitely probably only a few months into doing hurdles and I thought, you know what, you're actually really good at that. And for Hazel, she was always looking to one up her older sister. I would say that they were competitive and, and wanted to win. I don't think they were really supportive of one another. What do you think? Do you think they were supportive? No, I probably agree with that. They were, they were definitely in competition. <laughs> and with an in-house motivating factor, Hazel quickly became the star she seemed destined to be. In short order, she climbed the ranks within the world of Scottish athletics, and by the time she was 17 years old, she was already amongst the best in her country. My year before Trinity was the first year that I sort of thought like I really should take this seriously and train hard and I think that was one of the reasons why I picked Trinity because it would help me focus more and I think that was how I kind of wanted to move forward and take it more serious. And with former Spartans coach Laurier Primo leaving his post as head coach of Scottish Athletics to join Trinity Western, Ross saw an opportunity chance to pursue her athletic dreams while getting a university degree. With Trinity I feel I love the idea of smaller classes and um, Emma and Callum had done their visit out there and I just kind of went with their opinion on it and thought yeah let's do it. It was um, a great opportunity for Hazel um, and, and she was very keen to do it. Um, obviously at 17 waving her off at Glasgow Airport to fly 5,000 miles away was uh, was very difficult. Her dad had a wee tear in his eye. But we wouldn't have st stood in our way. I mean, um, it, it's, it's an opportunity of a lifetime that she's had. She's thoroughly enjoyed it. We see um, Hazel developing in a, an amazing way. Um, and, and obviously, hopefully, she continues to do that. It's been nearly five years since Ross left Scotland for Trinity Western. And from the track, to the classroom, she's been a bastion of success. On the track, she's a five-time Canada West medalist and is the Spartans record holder in the 60-meter hurdles. And in the classroom, Trinity Western has given her the space to flourish. My high school grades were good, but you could tell that I didn't, like even through school, I, I didn't care, like I'd rush through homework and just get it done. Whereas here, the profs are so pers like on a personal level with you that you really wanna, I don't know, like, put in the time for them because I know a lot of my pros put in the time with me and so I like to like give that back to them. Even Heather has been impressed with her little sister's academic success. She's definitely surprised us. Like I knew she was clever, I just didn't think she was as clever as she was. So, but yeah, she still needs to work on her common sense though. Common sense or not, there's no questioning what Ross has done as a student athlete since coming to Langley. But with her final CAS championships upon us, and her Trinity Western experience coming to an end, the best may still be yet to come. Well, I've, I've seen a lot of good things happen where she's a potential three-time medalist. Um, she's on the right track to doing, building her patterns and systems and, and overcoming different things that she's done in the past that have limited her progress. 
with eyes on a CIS medal, be it in high jump, long jump, or hurdles, Ross is as motivated as ever. Being so close the last two years, I think two years ago I was like one one thousandth of a second off of a medal and that was quite hard to take and I've always been there or thereabouts but never actually um, achieved a medal at CI so for sure looking for um, some this year so yeah hopefully. For Ross it's been an unforgettable adventure yet as her swan song begins to play at Trinity Western the girl from Bishopton who became a Spartan may just become the next big thing. Yeah, well my next goal is definitely Gold Coast, uh, the Commonwealth Games. I think that Trini has definitely geared me up for that. Just as a person I've grown more confident in myself, uh, not just athletically but just as a person, um, kind of knowing myself, finding myself. So I think that will all help my confidence moving forward in my athletic career.